What's up you guys, Tyler Huxford here. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 algae eating fish for a reef. Uh, I'm making this video right now, honestly, it's timely because I'm undergoing just a bit of an algae bloom right now. <laughs> Actually, quite a bad algae bloom right now, in fact. So I'm admiring some of my tank mates, which are uh, at least helping keep this problem at bay and also expressing some frustration here with other tank mates who should be helping. I think even have a reputation for being great algae eating fish, but in actuality, in my experience, aren't that great. So this video is for anyone in the hobby looking to either prevent or eliminate an algae problem in their tank in a way that is natural. And while at the same time introducing new colors, new tank makes, new character to your tank, uh, this, if that's what you're looking for, this list is for you. Now there are a few caveats here. This list is a fish only list. So we will be focusing on just the fish which can both prevent and eliminate your algae in your tank. The lawn mowers, so to say, the natural lawn mowers. So there won't be any cleanup crew members as a part of this list. So no shrimps, no crabs, no urchins, things of that nature. This is a fish only list. And secondly, this is a list based off of my own experience. I think anybody in this hobby knows that no two fish are the same. And uh, we've all had different experiences with even the same fish. But this is a list that I've actually compared with uh, several of my colleagues in the hobby who I trust, who have decades of experience in the hobby. And we all seem to agree with this list, or at least are pretty close. So hopefully this list is, uh, is, is a good comprehensive start for anyone looking for a natural lawn mower, a natural algae killer, uh, while introducing some great color and character to the tank. So let's jump right in. So starting at number 10, the blue tang, the hippo tang, the regal tang, the dory fish. <laughs> this fish has lots of names, honestly. We call ours Lulu. So blue tangs, I love these guys to death. And honestly, I think anybody who owns a blue tang knows that this is one of the first fish that your friends are gonna see. This is one of the first fish that you see. This is a fish full of character. They do the funniest things. You can entertain yourself, honestly, for hours just watching this fish do its thing. Um, but I am placing this at number 10 because this is not the best algae eating fish. Uh, I'm not saying they won't eat nori off a clip. They'll absolutely do that. But my blue tangs never actually helped with my algae problem. Uh, my blue tang is not currently helping me with my algae problem. They'll do a decent job of eating algae when it's short, but I've never seen blue tangs munch on your green hair algae once it's gotten long and mature. So placing that at number 10. Moving on to number nine, the yellow tang. And this one might surprise a lot of you. Yellow tangs obviously represent the zebrasoma family, which are known for being great algae eaters. But I have owned a few yellow tangs in my reefing career. And honestly, these are just not the best algae eating fish. Um, for those of you who've watched my channel, you know that I actually purchased a baby yellow tang and placed it in my 40 gallon tank to try to eliminate the algae that was growing in my tank. And the algae grew right underneath this tang's nose. And eventually he just got too big and now I'm pl I've placed him in my 120 gallon tank which once again, he's not helping with this issue at all. In fact, all he's doing is adding to the problem because this is a fairly large fish and will add a lot of nutrients to your tank just from doing his thing and pooping. Yellow tangs are not the best algae eating fish. Um, I think it's a great source of color. I think this is a great yellow addition to any tank and yellow is a rare color in our hobby, but honestly, not the best. Uh, algae eating fish, which I think that this is a fish that most people assume is going to be a great algae eating fish. So especially in today's economy, before you go out there and buy a couple hundred dollar fish just to save your algae problem, recognize that this fish probably isn't going to help that much. Moving on to number eight, we've got our first pygmy angel, the flame angel. So flame angels are one of my favorite fish. So colorful, so beautiful. And as far as pygmy angels go, a fairly reef safe option. Obviously they can be all over that spectrum of very reef safe or definitely not reef safe. In my experience, flame angels are fairly reef safe. Mine is reef safe. 
Um, and flame angels are definitely not known for eating the fully grown, mature, long green hair algae, but they absolutely will continuously pick at your rocks um, and prevent anything from green growing on them. So any pygmy angel on your list is going to fit that theme, by the way. They are good at eliminating the green stuff on your rock when it's nice and short and it's starting. It can eliminate that problem right away. An outstanding choice for fish-only tanks, whereas maybe you need to be a little more careful with a reef. Moving on to number seven, another pygmy angel, the Coral Beauty. Of all the pygmy angels on this list, this is probably the most reef safe option. I've never had an issue with coral beauties picking at anything. And that includes zoanthids, that includes acros. Uh, they're actually uh, a fairly reef safe option in my experience. And they do an even better job than the flame angel does of just constantly picking at the rocks. I honestly almost never see my coral beauty. He's just weaving in and out of the rocks. He goes deep behind the crevices where I can't even see. And if he's not swimming, he's picking. Coral beauties do a great job of eliminating the algae before it even becomes a problem, a great prevention fish. Moving on to number six, the purple tang. So once again, maybe a surprise to a lot of you, we've got a zebra soma on here who doesn't even make the front half of the top 10 list. Uh, but there's a reason for that. Uh, I, I honestly think that purple tangs, while they do a pretty good job of preventing algae from growing, once the algae has grown, they're not gonna do their thing. They're not going to be the lawnmower that you want them to be. Uh, not only that, but when you add a purple tang to your tank, you're adding all kinds of, of husbandry problems. Uh, purple tangs are known to be pretty aggressive fish. Um, if you are going to add a purple tang to your tank, you really should introduce this guy as one of the last fish in your tank. And if you're doing it solely to prevent or eliminate your algae, probably this is probably not the best fish for that. Uh, but this is a beautiful fish. I think so many of us in the hobby enjoy housing this fish. I personally love my purple angel, and he's not that aggressive, um, but definitely not making the algae-eating Hall of Fame. Moving on to number five, the lemon peel. So this is the highest-ranked pygmy angel on my list as far as algae prevention goes. Uh, I love lemon peels. Um, this is also one of my favorite fish. I love the yellow, the blue eyes, the blue tip tail. This is a beautiful fish. And lemon peels will pick at everything, but I do stress everything. They do an outstanding job of preventing algae, but in the process, do add a fair amount of stress to your corals. I personally cannot grow zoanthids in my 120 gallon tank. A lot of you who follow this channel know that I recently moved my zoa garden from my 120 gallon to my 40 gallon and it was because of this fish. But he does do a great job of preventing algae throughout the tank. He just won't isn't much help obviously now with the algae having grown the way it did. So moving on to number four, the coal tank. This is the first fish on the list that I don't currently own, and that's simply because I did not purchase a coal tang before all of the uh, pricing craziness took place in our hobby. So uh, coal tangs are a much more expensive fish nowadays than they used to be when I used to have a coal tang, but this fish does a great job of eating algae, and he does not discriminate on algae types, and he certainly won't shy away from algae just because it's grown big and thick and long. Coltangs are a great peacekeeping fish that can also eliminate and prevent your algae problem. Moving on to number three, the powder blue, and I'm even gonna put in the same category, the powder brown tang. So there obviously are a lot of risks associated with owning a powder blue tang, uh, namely disease, both the diseases they bring to a tank as well as the disease that they can catch from new tank mates in your tank. Um, that's obviously a, a bit of a risk there. But once you've moved past that, this is a really great algae eating fish. My powder blue tang is honestly the only tang in my 120 gallon tank right now who is crushing the little green hair algae in my tank after it's fully grown. And he does a great job of that. Now, Blue tangs are also a little bit more aggressive. So with that algae consumption does come a fish that is a little more territorial than most tangs. You do need to be aware of that, but assuming you've introduced this fish towards the end of your new fish routine, 
this is a great fish that's going to help both the pre prevent algae as well as eliminate your algae problems. Moving on to number two, the rabbit fish or the fox face fish. So this is honestly, once again, this is a fish that I don't own simply because I do not love this fish. I do not love the way that fox faces or rabbit fish look. And, and that's not a popular opinion. I, I think most people really enjoy these fish. Um, but they do have spines on them. Uh, I've seen them uh, actually uh, kill other fish on accident. And I've also seen other reef hobbyists um, get stung by these fish. It's not the best fish to have if you're starting a new reef and you're placing, you're constantly placing new corals and plugs in your tank because you'll always have to be aware where your hand is and where this fish is in the tank at all times. However, I must give respect where respect is due. And this fish is an absolute algae eating machine. Not only does he eat algae, um, fully grown green hair algae, the short stuff, I've also seen rabbit fish slurp up dinos. That is a fact. It's the truth, folks. And I'm not sure if he's supposed to do that. I realize that dinos do come with a fair amount of toxicity. Maybe that's not even good for them. But I've seen fox face fish slurp up dinos, which is, once again, something that a lot of new reef hobbyists experience. And this is a fish that can actually actually help with that problem. Now, I don't think that a fox face or a rabbit fish is going to eliminate your dinos, but he will help. And uh, that's worth mentioning. And I've why this fish is ranked so highly on the list. But that leads us to number one on this list, the absolute lawnmower on the list, the best algae eating fish on this list, and that is the Mimic Tang. Folks, I am making this list primarily to showcase and highlight this fish. I think this is a tang that most hobbyists don't even know about, which is a shame because this is a beautiful fish and he does such an incredible job of eating algae. So Mimic Tangs are named such because in their juvenile state, they look a lot like lemon peel angels. They are yellow with bright blue accents throughout their bodies. This is a beautiful fish to behold in their juvenile state. And then they mature and they change colors. And honestly, I don't love the you know fully full on adult mimic ting look, but this is an absolute stallion when it comes to eating algae. Mimic tings will eat the short stuff. They will gobble up the long stuff. Honestly, Honestly, my 40 gallon tank used to de deal with green hair algae problems, but not anymore. My mimic tang, anytime it shows up, just crushes it, slays it within a few days. Um, I've honestly thought about placing my mimic tang, which is again in its juvenile state in my 120 gallon tank, just so that he can start to gnaw after this stuff. And honestly, I'm this close to just pulling the trigger and doing it because this is the absolute best fish when it comes to algae eating in our hobby folks and i stand by that and my colleagues stand by that and i hope after you've purchased your mimic tang you will also stand by that so that's our video for today folks let me know what you think let me know your thoughts in the comments what are your best algae eating fish and what are some things you do in your routine to ensure that algae just never becomes a problem at all I'd even really appreciate that advice given the state of my tank here, which I'm just gonna showcase here really quickly. Okay, let's get rid of that because we don't wanna see it. That's all for today's video, folks. Have a great day out there. Safe reefing.